To begin, go to classroom.google.com. When you first arrive, it may take you to a page that looks like this, and that's okay. All you need to do is click on the blue button that says Go to Classroom. You have to sign in the first time using your school email address. You do not want to use a personal Gmail account. It's going to ask you is this a personal Google account or a G Suite account. You want to click on the top one that says G Suite account. When you get to this page, you'll need to sign in with your school email address and your normal computer password. This is your normal password that you use every day to log into your computer. It's going to ask that it wants to verify that it's you. Just hit continue. And it's going to take you to the first page that you see, the landing page right here. Now what you're looking at is all of my classes. Um, in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get rid of some of these classes. So the Board of Ed may have already preloaded these classes for you. Some of them are from even last year, or some of them are for this year. If you wanna get rid of a class, you can hover here and see that opens the gradebook, that opens um, lessons, but you can click on the three little dots in the type right hand corner and click archive that will get rid of it for you. I do not wanna get rid of any of these, so I'm not gonna click it. Next, I'll show you how to create a class. This is where you would join a class if you were a student or if you were doing professional development and it was done on Google Classrooms. You can also create a class. So if you wish to create a new class, you're gonna click on the Create Class button. This gives you the option to put your name, your section, your subject, and your room. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to call it a training class. A section's not applicable. A subject, we'll just say testing. And the room, we're gonna say at home. You should now see your class appear. I'm gonna click on it, and we're inside the training class. So the first thing that comes up is your stream. What you're looking at, um, where my mouse is, is the class code. Anybody that's going to join the class would use that code to join it. So if you're inviting students to join, they would need to enter that code. <music> Click here to go to your settings. You can change your class details in the class details section. In the general section, you can change your class code and your stream options. If you do not want students to be able to post or comment in the class stream, you can change that here. Finally, you can change your grading options here. It may be necessary for you to copy a class. To copy a class, hover over the three dots on the top right hand side of the class you wish to copy. Click Copy. This will copy all class topics and assignments, but will not copy class rosters or announcements from the stream. Change the class name, section, subject, or room number if you wish. When finished, click the blue button that says Copy. Notice that your class copy has been made. Notice that there are no students listed in this class. However, all assignments and topics have transferred over.